Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, and today I'm going to show you how to actually do a dynamic sky within Blender 2.8. And it's very, very simple to actually do. So let's get on with it. So first thing we'll do is we'll delete the cube, uh, the camera, and also the light. Then we'll come up to Edit, go to uh, Preferences, which is this one here. Come over to Add-on, so make sure you've got this uh, highlighted. Go to the search box and put in DYN for Dynamic Sky. And just tick yours on, click Refresh, and close that down. So now you'll need to do is you need to come over to uh, this little button here. Click this button, go down to Create, and you'll see something called Dynamic Sky. Click on this button here, and now it says, please select the world name Dynamic 1. Come over to your world settings over here and click this down to dynamic one and then we'll just set it on Eevee and now you'll see you've got a bit of a sky there so this is now rendered in Eevee it has lighting and everything else shadows things like that the one thing that you can't do yet is you can't change the name of the uh, of the dynamic one until you've finished uh, messing around with uh, with all the controls so if we come to a uh, sky color and click here a little bit blue you can see now it's starting to look a bit more like a sky and if you come over to cloud density, if we put it up, it's going to make uh, less clouds in the sky. And if we put it this way, it's going to make it very cloudy, of course. So let's put it round about there. And you can also see here that you have got brightness control, um, shadow color saturation, for instance. All the good stuff that you're going to need to actually create your sky. And of course, you can also change the, uh, the horizon, which is this. And this one here to change the cloud color. And that's pretty much it. And you'll also find in my other tutorials we can check out through my channel. I've also done a night scene as well. So, I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a very short one. If you like my tutorials, then please check out the links down below where you can find my other online courses. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.